Hey guys, let's figure out how to find a symmetry uh, algebraically. Line symmetry is where graphs have a line of symmetry if they can fold it along the line so that the two halves match exactly. <clears throat> a couple examples that we've talked about you know, for is, you know, things that we've been focusing more on line symmetry for um, about the y-axis. So these are three examples of where the, the phrase I have, and I call it evenly, and that ly is kind of to show that it's symmetrical about the y-axis, okay? All right, so we also talked about point symmetry, graphs that have point symmetry if they can be rotated 180 degrees with symmetric um, to a point and appear unchanged, okay? <clears throat> I forgot what our, our letter... Um, I can think of... Linear and cubic. Right, it's symmetrical about this point. I can take this quadrant and rotate it 180 degrees and it'll actually look like that one right there. Same thing. Okay, so how do you find this algebraically? Well, replace x with negative x. I want you to put star like Every x value you see in your polynomial, you're going to take the x and you're going to put in a negative x. And then you're looking at these results and you're going to compare it below. You're going to get one of these three conditions. If it's equal to the original, it is called a even symmetry. If it is equal to the opposite of the original, that's called an odd symmetry. And if it is not, so not even and not odd, then it is called something, it's called neither. Why is this the case with these? Okay, let's say, uh, let's do an example of even. Let's say my order pair here is uh, 2, 4. And this is my x, and this is my y. And to test it below here in pink, you're going to place every x with negative x. So, if I take this value and make it negative or opposite of what I have, you get negative 2. And then your y value actually remains the same. So this is essentially the opposite of x, and my y value remains the same. Well, if you graph this, what do you notice? The symmetry is on the y-axis, and that's why I call it even. Okay, so the big idea here that I just presented is that if you take the opposite of x and your y values are the same and blue there, then it is um, even symmetry. Let's try the same example. Let's try um, 2, 4. And then I'm going to go down here and replace every x with negative x. So this is going to become negative x. So the opposite of positive 2 is a negative 2. And it's saying if I get the opposite of y. <clears throat> so the opposite of y would be a negative 4, because y is positive 4, it's the opposite of negative 4. So if I graph that negative 2, negative 4, you get an order pair down here. And that is odd, because it is um, symmetrical. 
is symmetrical about the origin, right? It's rotated 180 degrees. Here is 90, and then this is another 90 degrees in this direction. Okay, and you can kind of think about it, like from the past two examples that I've just done, um, you can think about these as, you know, a linear is an odd graphically, right? And over here, this could be like a quadratic. Okay, let's go to neither. Okay, let's say you put in a point, 2, 4. And you already know where these kind of pop up. If it is an even, it would have popped in over here. If it was an odd, it would pop up over here. But let's say the point I get is... Okay, and let's just say I just uh, draw a graph here. Let's say my my new answer is uh, four four. If I take the opposite of x, which would be negative 2, this is not, not negative 2. Although I get the y value, um, I don't take the opposite of x, and I get um, either the same or the opposite. So remember, graphically, this would be a neither. Um, so those are kind of just three quick conceptual ideas of the symmetry, and then we'll have a bunch of other examples of big fun. See you guys. Hello, man. You don't love man? What's wrong with you?